Hello, people. You're welcome back to the channel. It's your one and only Lady Jackson. It is finally the finale of the Big Brother Mzanzi season four edition. And I must say, it's been a, a whole ride. Like, I cannot imagine. I could, oh my God, it's the finale. Your top six are ready to get at it. And we at home are also ready. So, this video is just bringing you a load of comprehensive exact on what happened on the finale so of course the show started with a one some male artists who sang uh they're like three and then they had their backup singers on white it was really nice i enjoyed it even though i didn't know most of what they were singing i danced to it though and then we well lawrence was welcomed by a voiceover that you know praised him and stuff and then lawrence introduced the show showing is the finale it is day 72 it's been a roller coaster of an event i uh, would love to see it it's just been amazing today we're gonna crown the two million rand winner and then we went to i think is it not not of johannesburg or something one one event center or something i, I cannot recall where kosi had an interview quick chat with the representative from the um i've forgotten that spice robertson spice yeah and it, it was quite a good one because they said they needed to use the opportunity of the power and connection that big brother show has to get to boost their business and it's been an amazing thing they enjoyed the games mostly because they needed to show what they are made of as a company the lawrence went into the house and had to have a chat with the housemates where he's uh you know congratulated them for being the finalists congratulated the last head of house um z and then the last winner of the task senai and then of course he started asking them questions now to their questions this was their response for mark jr he asked him why what are you always thinking when you're in front of the mirror in the dressing room and he was like um he's usually just thinking about the money that's all that comes through his mind and then he went to makeke who he asked how his experience compared to before the house what he expected and now and you know makeke was like it's way more better way more intense than he expected and it's it's something he enjoyed and pull me said to her own question that she has had a good time she has become her best and she has seen much more deserving improvements from herself so now he said he had a good time and what he can take home is that he has improved for the better and papa go said he has one regret he wishes that he didn't hold back in certain situations i forgot to what they asked z so of course i'm going to skip that and then after a break we then have lawrence who went back into the house to announce the first housemate to be evicted that would be the fifth run out of, of the show and he mentioned that it was papa goes honestly i didn't really expect that it was going to be papa goes to leave first but it is what the people have said they want him to go first the fifth runner up uh the fourth guy standing in the show and then of course after a long talk some break another performance by artists we then had lawrence come back and announce the next housemate to be evicted from the show without further ado the last woman standing is z because umpumi has been evicted as the fourth runner up of the big brother Zandi season four now of course we got to see her live through the show just like we saw that of papa goes the main reason why i didn't talk about his is because i didn't watch that and i did not uh, get to listen to the things he said um of course we're hoping he gets an amazing future and of course there was umpumi whom we see her cries her times of other talks and stuff we noticed how um they then had a conversation lawrence had to ask her like um what can she take from the competition or something like that and she was like she is obviously human she had a mistake she had her ups and downs but above all she had a good time and then of course finally was uh, he asked her who she thinks is going to win the competition and she shouted makeke we then had kosi who had a very good time interviewing the robertson um is it robertson no captain morgan uh, uh company <laughs> oh my god i'm just so excited she interviewed the uh, captain morgan representative and it was nice to see how they said they needed to re-strategize and support and even boost your business via the big brother mzanzi show and then of course um 
after evicting Papagos, after evicting Mpumi, we have about four more. And then uh, Lawrence Maleja went back into the house and announced that the next people to be evicted for the Big Brother Zanzi show is Z and Senai. They less like a couple. <laughs> that was really nice to see. And then we had our finalists. Our finalists. Our finalists. Oh my God. Our first runner up and possibly winner will be between Makeke and Magginio. Why do I feel like it's going to be Makeke to win the show? It's crazy. Like, Oh, I do not wish any of them bad, honestly. After a quick break, we then had Lawrence come back and welcomed um, Z and Sinai back on stage. And then he indicated to them that almost every day in the production room and the production team, all people are hearing both outside of the house is Z and Sinai, Z and Sinai, Z and Sinai. It's like they were meant to be and stuff. And then Lawrence was now asking Sinai, what is his plan now that he's out about his girlfriend? He's like, what? That's the first person I need to see. I just need to see her first. It's been a while. I need to meet my baby girl and stuff. I'm like, okay, okay. Because I thought they were trying to ship the both of you outside of the house, you and Z. And then, of course, Lawrence moved on to Z, home. he asked, um, what is this about? you a young puppy is it friendship is it relationship is it dating is it marriage or is this just what is it exactly she's like what we're just friends and i started laughing because it just felt like when mpumi said she would not have anything to do with jerry that that was her big mistake and just like the time we did the big brother titans i think last year or something um it was quite emotional honestly it was emotional to see how this uh finalists uh, mac junior and makeke their parents and families and friends had to watch and they were showing them of course as they began to bid farewell to the um to the show uh big brother encouraged them told them that they're amazing their names will be arced uh in the hall of fame of the big brother seasons ever in south africa and then you know they started from the bathroom off putting off the lights one by one to the rooms to the kitchen to the lounge until the ultimate when they left the door which which they entered the show from it was really emotional let me just be honest it was it was a whole lot and i really loved it and it was finally time to announce the winner of the Big Brother Mzanzi Season 4, 2024 edition. After we've seen the life of Makeke and Mark Jr. in the show and having a few conversations with them. And then Lawrence Maleka announced that Mark Jr. won the show. At first, Makeke jumped because it sounded like it was his name. But of course, it was Mark Jr. He got the 2 million rand. It's crazy. Like, I felt bad and good. Felt bad for Makeke. Felt good for Mark Jr but it is what it is Zanzi the winner of Big Brother Zanzi season 4 is the winner of Siamosha season is